Okay. Um, good afternoon, Ms. Taylor. This is Dr. Garayas. It is now like 520. Uh, and you haven't checked in yet. Uh, we, um, I'm not sure maybe if there's some confusion on the instant message uh, regarding today. Uh, but uh, you asked at 3 p.m. if um, we could meet at 5 p.m. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to make a recording on uh, items that I see uh, that you that you need. And I remember you're in my HCA 402 class. Let me see. Let me confirm. Now, please, even though there's zeros uh, or you're behind, do something, anything. Uh, and I see here, now you started off okay and then your discussions are good for HCA 402, but I need a discussion A reply, discussion B reply. Uh, so if you uh, reply to at least one person and um, look, at, look at the other people which I, gave, which I awarded full credit, that will give you an example on how to do um, discussions. Uh, so let's let's look at an example on someone who replied and replied well. So <clears throat> see, I'm just gonna uh, random. Oops. So if you look at this person's, you had the reference and um, of course this is a good one. Now, see this, this is nice, but it's not in APA, APA format. So let's find something else here. This is nice if you look at uh, her discussion, she has good format on her APA. If you look at this discussion too, by who posted this, you can see how she, uh, uh, Ms. Sidnor. Okay. Now, of course, not to copy and paste, but uh, no, now here's a good, here's a good uh, response. So this person, Ms. Mendoza, responded to Ms. Sidnor and not only said agreed or disagreed, she also gave uh, some extra facts on top of, of the original post. And so you can see here, and she uh, uh, utilized, you know, something from a .gov, right? But you could see here, like this person didn't put anything. They just gave their opinion. That's useless. So, but I give credit for it. So at least post at least something. So you at least get some credit. Some credit is better than nothing. Because right now I don't have anything from you uh, uh, as a response and that, that's extra points. And just as a quick reminder, um, my grades for midterm are due uh, this weekend. So if there's nothing, um, and uh, you can either instant message me up here or shoot me an email like, hey, Dr. Grice, look at my grade, uh, look at something that I did. And you know, uh, I won't even take that much off. I'll take just 10% off uh, because I fully understand this is, this is just a weird situation for everybody all around. So when you're doing your, um, your discussions, that's how you do them. And you could see it's like, it's like a discussion and then you reply to it, that's the next week, then another discussion, apply to it. So all of this online stuff is just wash, rinse and repeat. Now regarding, uh, regarding the tasks, watch the videos that I wrote because I, I, I put, because I gave hints and you could also, um, um, what do you call that? You could also, um, um, utilize those videos as like, um, like let, let's give an example, right? I tell you in the videos exactly what to read and uh, what to put down. So example for this one, make a quick, uh, quick chart used in the field investigating outbreak. This includes the steps and the important things to remember on each step. Compare what you have done during the plague and what you would do now. So how would you investigate an outbreak? That's one, right? Uh, what are the steps? That's part of one. And 
how would you investigate the plague that happened, you know, many, many years ago? And how would you deal with the plague or actually deal with COVID now? And um, let's see, Ooh, someone, someone posted something that we didn't grade. And you can see here, all right, let's look at somebody, let's see if I missed somebody's grade. You can see here, there's a timestamp. So please, please, you gotta turn something in. I can't, uh, uh, let's see, no, I didn't miss anybody. Then what are they talking about? Who needs grade? I already submitted all grades. All right. Sorry, you had to see other people's grades. My bad. So that's what you're doing. And uh, or shoot me an email with, with specific questions because your statement from last week was, I'm, not, I'm just not getting the teaching. What, teach, what particular thing you do? Because I, when I look at, like for example, let's look at lesson two. And I made a video of it. It says what? You look at the a disease, right? So you make a case study, right? Read the case study, you click on this, and then address the person, place, or time. And in the video, I, I spoke of exactly how to address uh, the person, place, or time. For, so for example, what kind of people? What kind of area, right? Disease along the river, right? Was that important that it was near a river? Did it make it spread faster, right? The time and populate, and what kind of population? Were they educated? Were they not educated? Right? Is this modern times or this uh, um, uh, recent historical times? Or was this ancient times? Because it goes, each perspective is very, very different. And please submit something. Look at this. Only seven people submitted out of 16. That's, it's, that's sad for something that's so simple. You click on this and you just list down. Were the people involved? What kind of place? What kind of time? And does that, does do those things come into play regarding the epidemiology of a disease? And of course they do. And you know, a, uh, a quick 100, 100 150 uh, item, uh, and of course, uh, with a citation, right? But at this point, even if it's out of citation, just send it because uh, you need some grades in um, and uh, you're, you're weeks behind and the best another thing to do when you're this far behind is you make your own um schedule okay now all of us have kids all of us because all of us have careers all of us have jobs and all of us have our cross to bear that's neither here nor there you know you made an investment and the investment has to they have to have a return on it and the only way to do it is by work so you have to uh you know make the time and uh and then make a um um a schedule and stick to that schedule and then uh, uh and and right now it's going to be rough because you're you're playing catch up but again you have until to get all these weeks and and like i said even if you don't have apa formatted I'll take it. It's it's a grade. It's something. Uh, at least we uh, we can salvage what's uh, salvage what's left of your grade uh, in HC, HCA 402 and your um, uh, your anatomy and physiology class. So let's now go to your anatomy and uh, physiology class. Uh, let's do this and. Um, Let's see which one it was. I think, it, I think you're in my 210. Let's look. Now, just like this class, is just like HCA 402. The HCA 402 actually is an online class, right? There are actually no modifications. And are you... No, so you're in my 110. So let's find the 110 and let's see what you're missing. Again, I'm gonna stroll by it real fast because you're gonna see other people's grades, kindly ignore those. But I really wanted to get uh, something out. And you could see mine, it tells me when things get posted, right? But it doesn't tell me when uh, people who have got original zeros 
um, uh, posted something. So shoot me an instant message. And you can see here, see this, these two things, there shouldn't be any red here. Anytime you see red, you click on it because it could be a response. It could be, uh, it could be a message from uh, your teacher or from another student, right? And these notifications tell you due dates or, where, or when you've been given a zero, when you've been, and so don't let that slide, okay? So let us now look at 110. Let's see what's missing in 110. And same thing with communication. Constantly monitor your, uh, your email and, and everything else. Now you could see your task one, week one was all right, but missing a lesson one. So let's look. Lesson one was real easy. Um, you click onto this and you uh, look at, uh, um, uh, you also click on this worksheet and that's the thing that you answer, right? Now at this point, I'll even give you partial credit if you're not able to fill this out. But all these things that you fill out here, as per my video that I made, they get answered here, right? Fail flu, the problem. And then you go to the next one, the next one. And look, they give you the data, right? And that's, uh, that's one way to do it, okay? So, that's how you do that lesson one case study. And it'll take you an hour tops. So please do it. Don't let it have a zero. I won't even, you know what? I won't even take anything off. So, uh, so you can catch up. Let's look at some other stuff. I mean, you were okay like the first week and then what happened? But again, it's so easy. All, life always gets in the way. Uh, and if you don't think it gets in the way for, for teachers as well. Uh, lesson one. So please do lesson one. It'll bump up your grade significantly. Task two. You're missing task two. Let's see. Right. Watch these videos and just make a, uh, take those three videos and then do this. Do a concept map. Now, if you're not unfamiliar with concept maps, it's just, uh, um, you can look it up. I could just Google it. What is a concept map? Right, I find a video and it tells me. And essentially concept map is this. You have like a main idea and then you have the other ideas that spark from the main idea. And what are some important things about these other little concepts, right? Now, if you're not good in Microsoft Word or Microsoft Paint, heck, do it nicely and neatly and, you know, with a ruler and draw it on a piece of paper, right, based on what you see in those videos, and then take a picture of it with your camera, and you could submit it that way. So, and there's, all there is is concept maps. It's just making sure that you watch this video and that you know what's important. So, please do the, the tasks and lessons and, and do like one thing a day, you know, if, if the life is that complex. So at least, you know, uh, we'll salvage some of your grade, but I think you can do two things or one thing from each of these classes a day. All right. It's like 5:33, and it's still not here. You're still not checked in. So I will just um, uh, post this video for you. Uh, or, or send it to you uh, somehow, maybe um, make a, um, a YouTube video and, and send that link uh, so at least you have something. All right, so again, if you need to reschedule, shoot me another instant message. Uh, Tuesday, I'm crazy busy tomorrow, but Wednesday, I'm free all Wednesday, all right? Okay, uh, well, not in the morning. Uh, my kids have uh, online school, um, but yeah, anytime after 12, yeah. Uh, I totally forgot um, school starts up again for my kids tomorrow uh, online. All right. So um, hopefully I'll talk to you soon. And uh, uh, look, you got six days. Uh, if you do six days, two things a day, that's 12 things. It, it should boost up your, uh, your grade 
significantly, maybe even to pass them. Because right now, for both of those classes, you're failing both classes, right? But I'm going to give you the opportunity to do everything and anything uh, before, uh, before the weekend, all right? And I'm going to hold off my grades as long as I can, all right? Okay, I hope to talk to you soon. Okay, bye.